You probably clicked this video because you've been seeing a lot of clothing brand owners on TikTok. You've been seeing them start their clothing brands, get all those notifications on Shopify on drop day and all that cool stuff. And you've been like, bro, I want to start a clothing brand myself. So in this video, I'll basically break it down to you exactly what I would do step by step if I was to start a clothing brand in 2025. Yo, really quick before we get into it, it's important that you know who you are taking information from because you don't want to be taking information from somebody who hasn't even done the task that you are trying to do or even achieve the goals that you want to achieve in doing the task. My name is D, six-figure clothing brand owner and entrepreneur. I'm the owner of the brand Conflicted Lovers, which you see right here. I made around $70,000 off this product right here and I'm continuing to sell it, so it's on pace to make $100,000 for me as well. Made well over $300,000 in the two years that I've been owning my clothing brand. We're rolling on to our third year. So if anybody can give you any type of clothing brand game, clothing brand help, clothing brand tips, it could be me. I've started two clothing brands myself. The first one failed, the second one worked out, and I'm also working on another one just to show you that this stuff is possible and it's easy to do. It's not as hard as y'all make it seem. But today, I'm gonna be basically teaching y'all and giving y'all all the steps that I personally would take and the steps that I took and the ways that I would improve the strategies that I started my clothing brand and how y'all can do it the same exact way. I'm not very big on wasting time. I know y'all want to get to it. I want to get to it. So if you got a notepad, get your notepad out. If you got the notes app out on the phone, get it out. But regardless, you need to be taking notes if you actually want to apply the information you're about to learn. So step number one to starting your clothing brand in 2025 is figuring out why. Why? Your why has to be very important because if you do not have a strong why, when things go bad, you will have nothing to keep you pushing. My why personally for want to do this is that I want to establish financial freedom. I want to be able to wake up and dictate what I get to do today, what I want to do today, what I want to eat. And I don't want my life to be bind in financial things like, oh, I can't even eat this today. I can't go get food today. I can't go do this today. I want to be financially free and I want my life to be free so I can wake up and do what I want to do. You got to have a strong why because like I said, if you don't, when things get hard, you're not going to keep fighting. You're going to get up. Or if you don't have a strong why, you're not even going to have the discipline to even get started and apply the information. So first, figure out why you want to start a clothing brand. I need everybody right now to go comment. Oh, snap. I need everybody right now to go comment your why. Go in the comment section. Comment the reason why you want to start. And it got to be strong enough to get you started, so to say. Then on to step number two, you have to figure out what type of clothing brand you want to start. By type, I mean niche. There are streetwear brands. There's urban streetwear brands. There's luxury brands. There are many different types of clothing brands out there and you have to identify what niche you want to be in because this will tell you what type of logo you need. This will tell you how your name should look. This will tell you what kind of products you should create. This should tell you what type of marketing you should do. So you got to identify your niche because that's a very key part. I see a lot of people starting their clothing brands and they don't even know what type of clothes they want to sell. So when they're putting out stuff, it looks all wacky and all messed up. That's one mistake that I made in my clothing brand when I first started was I wasn't really sure what type of clothes I wanted to sell just yet. So my first drop was entirely different from my second drop and my third drop. In that second drop, I made a huge mistake in dropping a graphic big face t-shirt. I had a lot of customers roll in, so I did make some money, but that, those customers didn't stay with me after that because I made a product that was not for that audience after that. And then that's when I established my brand's identity and brand niche and just kind of stuck to it. That way I can continually market products to the people who are interested in what I have to offer, so to say, if that makes sense. So you gotta find your niche. Look up niches, go on ChatGTP and say, hey, what are the different type of clothing brands and could you show me examples? They're gonna show you examples. After getting a niche, you're going to have to get a name. I know this is a part that a lot of people struggle with. Like, oh, I can't find a clothing brand name. I don't know what name to use. There's so many names out there. Bro, you just gotta come up with your name. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I'm gonna keep it so 100 with y'all. If you are taking two to four weeks to identify a name, you really don't wanna get started. Procrastination can also be overthinking. That's actually the biggest form of overthinking because it's comfortable. It's a comfortable space. And not knowing, you don't have to do. Once you got your name, you know you got to go do all these other things. So your brain says, oh, we don't know a name, so let's just sit around and wait till we find a name. No, find a name. Get it done. It shouldn't take no longer than two days. Find something that sticks with you. And if you can't find a name, start working on the next step, which is going to be cooking up your first official logo slash design. Your logo is important, but some people say it's not that important. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. Your logo is important because that represents your brand identity. When people see your logo, they are going to see your brand. 
So if your logo is not up to par, if your logo is not high quality, if your logo does not look good, people are going to assume the same thing about the brand. That's why Nike and all these other companies focus so much on their logos because it's very important. If Nike didn't have the check, it wouldn't mean just do it. The check means just do it. You feel me? Those things are important. That's why Nike is so big because branding and brand identity is so important. So create your logo, cook up your logo, and make sure it identifies with the name and identifies with the niche. If you need a place to cook up a logo because you don't got graphic design experience, you can go to the app Kittle. Kittle is a very good app that you can use to design. If you got any Photoshop experience, you can go in there, cook up a little bit of stuff. You feel me? They got templates on there for you. They got different effects, different fonts, different texts that you can use, different icons, different things you could just use to sort of cook up your clothing brand logo and all your other clothing brand designs. So go on Kittle. If you don't want to use Kittle, there's free apps like Photopea, there's Photoshop, there's Illustrator. That's if you got design experience. But if you don't, you need to hire a designer. I got a designer I can plug y'all in with. At Tunes STD on Instagram, hit him up. He can make your first clothing brand logo. If you tell him your brand name, the style of clothing you want to create, he will be able to cook you something up inside that specific concept, so to say. And it's very important that your logo is similar to your name and your identity. After you get your first logo, it is going to be time to start working on your socials, building your social media presence. A lot of people say, I don't want to build my social media account because I don't have anything to post, which is cool. But why not get it built up? Why not already have the systems and the things set in place for when the time is to start posting? If you don't start your social media account, it's going to be 10, 20 days before you actually start it up. Oh, now I got my sample in hand. Now you're trying to start up your social media market, your product, and do all this at the same time. This is why I put everything in simple steps for y'all. Start your social media account. Get Instagram. Get TikTok. Put your logo in the bio. Make them business pages. And just start interacting with content that is inside your niche. You never know what follower that's going to get you. And then you can also tell your friends and family that, yo, I'm cooking up my clothing brand Instagram account. Can y'all just go follow me? Can you just support me for when the time is? Just throw your logo up there, put coming soon inside the bio, and then you'll be lit. After that, you are going to need to get you a Shopify. Shopify is the number one platform. Oh, snap. Shopify is the number one platform for e-commerce stores. I can repeat this a million times. There's no app like it. Wix is not as good. Big Cartel is definitely not as good. Squarespace is not as good. Shopify is the best platform you can use because it makes running your clothing brand so super easy. If you guys don't know how to set up your Shopify account, go watch a YouTube video. You just gotta fill in the blanks and fill in the information. It is not too hard. It's actually very, very easy to set up your Shopify account. Making your website is a whole different process. So Shopify is the platform. Your website is your actual store. And if you need somebody to build that, you can use at Website Empire. But if you got web design experience, not too hard to use. All you gotta do is go inside the website editor, cook it up, Make it look good. White background, simple text. I'll touch more on the product photos later on. Also, with your website, you're going to need a domain name. Best domain name to use, dot .store domains. They're perfect. I got lovemox.store. We be cooking up over there. That's about to drop very soon if y'all want to look out for that. It's in like two days. If y'all watching on Wednesday or y'all watching on Thursday, that'll be this Saturday. So Love Mox is cooking up. Get you a dot .store domain. Make your website look more presentable. When you start running ads, it'll lower the cost of conversion. It'll also get you a few more website clicks, actually 87% more website clicks. So get you a dot store domain. And make sure you get that website set up before you do all these other things. Now that you got that website set up, it is time to actually go about planning a drop and thinking about a drop. The first step to planning and thinking about a drop is deciding if you are going to do pre-order or pre-made, and that is based on your budget for starting your clothing brand. So the difference between a pre-made and a pre-order is the pre-made, you get your sample, you get your bulk order, you plan your marketing, then you start marketing, then you drop the product. A pre-order is you get your sample, you plan your marketing with the sample, you get a mini bulk order, three, four pieces, that way you just got something to put on models, you do your marketing, you drop, then you order the actual bulk order from the manufacturer and ship the products with the customer's monies. The pre-made process is the best right now to use because people want their products fast and pre-orders are really risky because you can get a lot of chargebacks if you don't have everything set up and in line to run your pre-orders that's going to be bad but pre-orders if you don't got a lot of money to get started you can definitely do those but i personally like pre-made more so if y'all want to start your clothing brand in 2025 in january is when y'all want to drop try to save up some money to run a pre-made inventory but on that merits after you figure out which way you want to drop 
you are going to need to get your first official sample. If you don't know what a sample is, a sample is just one piece of a bulk order that you want to get. Most of the times your samples can come in messed up, issues can happen with them, manufacturers might try to scam you, but don't even focus on that. Focus on what I'm saying right now. For your sample process, all you need to do is first come up with a design. Put that design on a mock-up and then identify the details that you want on that product. What product do you want? What material do you want? Do you want to use polyester? Do you want to use cotton? Do you want to use Pyrex? What type of material do you want to use? What type of printing do you want to use? Do you want to use screen printing? Do you want to use distress embroidery? Do you want to use DTG? If you guys are confused with what I'm talking about, I'm going to link the video at the end that can basically break down all these different details and the things you got to do and tell the manufacturer to get them to make your sample. So yeah, gather all your product details because that's going to be important when it comes to creating your sample and sending it over to your manufacturer. You can send it in a tech pack. Like I said, go watch the video at the end if you're trying to identify what a tech pack is and all that. But get your sample in from your manufacturer. That's going to be the next process after you plan your drop. Then after you get your sample, you're going to go into step number nine. And this is a very, very important step that I feel like a lot of people skip when starting their clothing brand. I skipped this when I started my clothing brand. So I'm telling you guys, if you do this, you can get even better results than I did on my first drop with Conflicted Lovers, which I sold 50 t-shirts. That's pretty good to start out. You feel me? That's good, period. Um, so yeah, start a marketing plan. You can use organic, you can use paid, you can use influencers. That's pretty much all you can do. In that organic spectrum, TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Paid ads, Instagram ads, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Snapchat ads, Google ads. Influencer marketing, you can send your products to influencers. You can get people in your product and record them yourself. Or you can set up affiliate links. It's all up to you, but you need to figure out a physical, structured marketing plan and what you're going to do to market this product for a certain amount of time. I encourage you guys to market for two to four weeks on your drop. That will give people enough time to build that hype, especially starting out because it's going to be very difficult for you at first to build a organic fan base unless you post more and more and more and more. That's why I encourage you guys to create a marketing plan for the drop. What are you going to post on this day? What are you going to post on this day? What's going on your story? What's going on your feed? And you can kind of use ChatGTP to help you cook this up. You just got to cook it up, to be honest. Then on to step 10, after you plan your marketing, it is going to be time to roll out your marketing. Your rollout process is very, very important because you got to think about it like this, guys. When Nike is about to release a brand new product, what do they do? They sit at the desk with all the executives and brainstorm for months how they're going to roll out this product because they never just, oh, here you guys go. Here goes the newest shoe. Go check it out. Nah, they might do a sneak peek. They might do it behind the scenes. They might get LeBron James in the photo shoot. And they're going to do all these things before they even drop the product. That way they built up all this tension to the actual drop. So when you're rolling out your marketing, roll it out professionally. Hopefully you had it planned. That way everything just runs smooth. And after you roll out your marketing, you are going to have your first official drop day because you got your website already set up. You got your social set up. Now it's time to drop your clothes. Now it's time to release your clothes. Put them on your Shopify site. Upload them to the site, pick your pricing, add your description, and then drop them. Tell the world, yo, my products are available. Drop day is very important. It's kind of like the NFL combine. You put the work in on step nine. You put the work in on step 10. This is your NFL combine. This is where it's like, okay, boom, let's see. Did my work really work or was I just putting my effort into nothing? Or was I even putting any effort in? Because that's important as well. Drop day is very important. Drop day is the best brand on the day. That's when y'all be seeing the people get the Shopify orders that y'all want to get so bad. Y'all know how they get those? Step nine, step 10. Planning and producing, planning and producing, planning and producing. And then after your drop day, you're going to have to ship your orders. That's a pretty simple process. I recorded a YouTube video on that. You can go check that out. Uh, all you need is poly mailers. You need your MacBook. You need a label printer. And you need labels. If you need to grab that equipment before you start your clothing brand, you can go ahead and do it. It's a link in the description that bundles up all the products for you in one, and all you gotta do is order it. They'll get it to you in like a week. You feel me? You get your hands on that. Ship out your orders, bro. It's important that you ship them out on time, that you're honest with your customers. Don't scam these people, especially on your first drop. Make sure that everybody get their order. I don't care if it's three people. Make sure that everybody get their order because you do not wanna leave a bad taste in nobody's mouth because you are just starting. Of course, you're gonna make mistakes. Of course, you want to do silly stuff, 
but I'm giving you the sauce and giving you the game on how you should roll it out and the things you should and shouldn't do. So you should be good, bro. After you ship your orders, you're gonna have to manage your money correctly. This is a big phase too. People get some money from a drop. Let's say you make 10K, they be ready to spend five. Oh, I did 10, let's just split it in half. I'm ready to spend 5K. No, you have to manage your money. You have to put your money in places to make it work more for you, especially when starting out. So if you're starting your clothing brand, you are not completely reliant on it, on it to pay your bills and stuff like that. I recommend that you guys for the first year, I'm begging y'all do this. For the first year, reinvest every single dollar back into the brand. Don't make some money like, I need to go spoil myself. Let me go get the new watch. I need to spoil myself. Let me go get the new phone. Make that money and then reinvest that money. And I promise y'all, in a year, you are going to be bigger than I am in three years because... I just got to that discipline point to where everything is just being reinvested and reallocated back into the business. You probably like, okay, what do I spend money on? I just did a drop. You spend money on the next drop. You spend money on getting designs, getting samples, getting bulk orders for the next drop. So on to step number 14, you gotta analyze what worked and how can I make it better? That's all that's important, guys, is how can I make it better because everything can be better. Every single day I'm analyzing my life and the things that I do and trying to improve my habits. If I want to be more productive, what can I do to be more productive? Oh, I could probably just turn some background music on and turn my phone over. Oh, yeah, I could do that. But when I do that now, what is it time to do? Oh, I probably could drink coffee to make sure I'm laser focused. That way my productivity is a lot better. Okay, now that I've done that, how can I even make myself more productive? Oh, I could go to sleep earlier. If I go to sleep early, I can wake up early and my focus is going to be laser, razor focused because I got enough sleep and I'm not tired. Okay, to go to sleep earlier, now I got to shower earlier. Now I gotta work out earlier. Now I gotta do all these things. So it's constant ways to improve. Check out your analytics. Check out how your videos was doing. Check out your audience feedback and figure out ways to improve. And then in step 15, basically reinvest the money and do it all again. But on that second drop, make sure you do pre-made. Don't do no pre-order the second drop. I basically just gave y'all all 15 steps that there is to starting a clothing brand. Step number one, figure out why you wanna start. Step number two, figure out what type of clothing brand you wanna own. Step number three, come up with your name. Step number four, get your logo in your design. Your logo and your design. Your first design, it gotta be unique. Don't create a simple logo t-shirt because it's not gonna sell. Create something unique for your niche. Step number five, start those social accounts up. Get that Shopify up, plus that dot store domain. Create your drop plan, pre-order pre-made. Get your sample. Create your marketing plan, which is very important. Start rolling out that marketing. Have a big drop day or have a small drop day. It's up to you. Ship your orders out. Manage your money, analyze what you did and how you can improve, and then basically plan for the next drop. That was all I pretty much got for y'all today, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I just gave y'all 15 simple steps and 15 simple plans of action that y'all can use to start y'all clothing brand. In between all these little sections are more little work to do, but as you dig and dive into each one of them, you're going to be able to see that work. So when you're coming up with your name, you're gonna think, okay, boom, let me come up with a name. How do I come up with a clothing brand name? Go watch a YouTube video on how to come up with a clothing brand name. It's gonna teach you how to come up with a clothing brand design. Go watch a YouTube video on how to come up with a design. It's gonna teach you what you need to do, what you don't need to do. That's why I definitely recommend that you guys, especially everybody starting, that you watch the video that's right after this one. It's gonna be a video right on the end screen that says watch this. It's gonna teach you how to create a winning product from scratch. From the concept in your mind, to the design, to the mock-up, to the sample. It talks about manufacturing, it talks about fabric details, all that stuff. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, I wanted to just speed through it, not take too much time. It's been about 18 minutes. Um, if you guys plan on starting your clothing brand, you need some help, some real deal help, not no fake help. You can hit me up on Instagram or you can just scroll down to the link in the description. Just scroll down a little bit, click the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. You will basically be able to talk to me one-on-one -on -one and I'll guide you just like this, just how I did on this camera. So all the steps of action that you need to take to growing and scaling your clothing brand. Interestingly enough, it's going to be Maybe two to 5,000 views on this video. Let's just say it hits 20,000. You feel me? Let's, let's hope it hits 20,000. Hopefully, y'all comment. Hopefully, y'all like and it hits 20,000. But let's say it hits 20,000. Out of those 20,000 people, maybe 100 people are actually going to get started and apply the information. So if you do, you already better than majority of the other people that's competing. Some people go watch this video and not do nothing. Some people was watching this video, but was talking to their girlfriend on the phone. So if you was locked in, taking notes, and you actually plan to wake up tomorrow and start doing this, 
you already more ahead than anybody else, bro. So just get to it. Don't focus on nobody else's journey. Focus on yours. You got the information now, so there's no reason why you can't get started with your clothing brand. I just basically told you how to do it. Link in the description for one-on-one -on -one clothing brand help. My name is D. Y'all should shop Love Mox. 11, 9, I'm out.